All right, so we're in Oncomine 4 here. Uh, I'm logged in. As you see here, we have a getting started page. If you haven't used Oncomine before or if you want some ideas about what you can do in Oncomine 4, I'd encourage you to look at a few of these examples here and, and jump in. What we're going to do instead is a couple of case studies, one breast cancer target discovery and another looking at the RAS pathway. So let's begin with the breast cancer target discovery uh, analysis. And what I'm going to do first, just to get us oriented, is do a gene search for uh, ERB2 or the HER2 new oncogene. So what I get when I do a gene search here is uh, what we call our summary map. And if you've used Oncomine 3, you're familiar with it. Uh, we've got a number of improvements to the summary map. So we have cancer types as rows and analysis types as columns. Red boxes indicate significant overexpression results. Blue boxes indicate significant underexpression results. I'm not going to spend a lot of uh, time here on looking at ERB2's expression pattern. Instead, I'm just going to jump right into the result that uh, we expect for ERB2, and that is that we see overexpression in subsets of, of breast cancer. So we have 26 independent data sets in which ERB2 showed significant overexpression in subsets. Our, uh, our subset analysis we call outlier. And uh, the numbers here indicate uh, independent data sets at the thresholds that are uh, set here uh, by default. So we have 26 independent data sets in which ERB2 is a top 1% scoring gene. So if I, if I drill down on those analyses here by simply clicking the box, I'm going to get these outlier results. Uh, you'll notice that we've got some DNA copy number results mixed in with the gene expression results. I can simply add a filter to say I'm only interested in the mRNA results. And now what we're looking at is ERB2's expression in these breast cancer studies in which overexpression in subsets was observed. So for example, in this first study listed here, the Huang breast study with 89 cancer samples, we see that a number of our outlier analyses at the 75th, 90th, and 95th percentile, ERB2 is high ranking because it's overexpressed in a subset of breast cancers. This same pattern uh, is observed in multiple independent data sets, as our summary map suggested, overexpression in subsets. And this is consistent with what we know about ERB2, that it's actually amplified and overexpressed in subsets of breast cancer. So what I'm going to do now is turn this analysis over and ask the question, OK, we know ERB2 has this interesting expression pattern in breast cancer. What other genes are highly overexpressed in subsets of breast cancer? So to do that, what I'm going to do is uh, remove my ERB2 gene filter. And what that does is now says, let's look across all genes and ask the question, which genes show high overexpression in subsets of breast cancer? I'm going to apply some filters here. and to basically say, let's limit the data sets we're looking at, looking at to only those data sets that have a large number of samples. So I'm only interested in data sets with at least 150 samples. I've got 10 data sets left. So what I can do now is uh, select analyses that I'm interested in for a meta-analysis. What I'm showing you uh, right now is the genes that are most overexpressed in subsets in one particular data set. But because we have 10 independent data sets with a good number of samples, what we're going to do quickly is select these data sets for a meta-analysis. And the way meta-analysis works in Oncomine 4 is simply by selecting the analyses of interest and then hitting the Compare button up at the top. So we've got uh, 10 independent data sets, and we're asking the question, which genes are most overexpressed at the 95th percentile, or restated, most overexpressed in at least 5% of cancers. So I hit Compare, and we'll wait a moment as this uh, result is computed. And here is the results of our meta-analysis. So red boxes indicate significant overexpression of the gene in the particular data set. You see the 10 data sets listed in the legend here at the bottom. Uh, gray boxes indicate that the gene was either not measured, that the gene was not measured in the data set. White boxes indicate the gene was not highly ranking. So as, as we uh, 
take a quick look at this list, we identify a number of genes that are highly overexpressed in subsets. I'm going to ju jump to page two here of our list to show uh, where the ERB2 gene shows up. I believe that it was here on page two. It might be down uh, another page in this analysis. But what I'm going to do is focus on a gene called AGTR1. This is a gene that we published on because of its in, uh, overexpression in subsets of breast cancer. Let me show you uh, quickly here. If I want to limit these results to only a subset of genes of interest, for example, if I was only interested in plasma membrane genes, I could simply add that filter. So all genes that localize to the plasma membrane. If I was only interested in kinases, I could add that filter as well. What I'm going to do is ask the question, are there known drug targets, are there known FDA-approved drug targets that are highly overexpressed in at least 5% of breast cancers? And so now we've got uh, the exact same analysis we're going to do, and we're going to filter that result set by genes that are overexpressed in subsets. So you see now the gene that I pointed out previously, AGTR1, is at the top of the list. AGTR1 is the angiotensin receptor targeted by antihypertensive drugs, Losartan. And this is really why we were excited about this result early on. So this gene AGTR1 has this very interesting expression pattern, and there's also a drug that can block AGTR1. So now let's look at AGTR1 in particular. So I'm simply adding AGTR1. I'm going to remove my drug targets filter. And now you, can, you, you should notice that we're going to pay from the heat maps and meta maps to single gene bar charts because we're look, we, we've queried for now only one gene. So we can look across uh, the data here and see that AGTR1 is, a, is indeed highly overexpressed in subsets of breast cancer across multiple independent data sets. So each click that I do here brings up a different data set. But the, the very interesting thing is that we're seeing a, a, the common expression pattern of strong overexpression in subsets. So now if we're interested in, in, in knowing, well, what subtypes of breast cancer is AGTR1 overexpressed in? We can, all, in addition to our outlier analysis, we can also add the cancer subtypes analysis. So now uh, you, you should notice that we've filled out this list selector a little bit more. And uh, we can see that AGTR1 is associated with estrogen receptor positive breast cancers in multiple independent studies. And I'm showing you that here over on the right. So we can see in this data set that AGTR1 is overexpressed in ER positive breast tumors, uh, but not really in ER negative breast tumors. And this result is validated across multiple independent studies. So what we've learned here is that AGTR1 is highly overexpressed in subsets of breast cancer and that it's linked to estrogen receptor positive breast cancer in particular. So that is uh, the AGTR1 case study. I hope this has shown you how, how one can do gene searches in Oncomine using the summary map to understand where the genes are differentially expressed, using meta-analysis to discover new genes that have interesting expression patterns, and using cancer subtype analyses to identify the particular subtypes showing differential expression.